We're going to shift gears, but but keep you on the line, Jerry, to talk about your uh, cap Capital Journal column tomorrow, where you uh, say that the most twisted relationship uh, for President Obama may have not been with John Boehner or, or those in Washington, but in fact with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, so, what is this relationship, and how do we look f look forward to this year and in the years ahead, uh, looking at both the Iran situation and Netanyahu getting power, uh, I guess, by by very uh, small margin. Well, you know, first of all, it was, it was not a great relationship. These are not two guys who exactly like each other. They're both very smart. They're both very self-assured. And they're ideologically very far apart. And I think they don't entirely trust each other. So it was a pretty rocky relationship for four years. But lo and behold, you look up now, they're both back. I mean, they, uh, President Obama got reelected in Knesset elections last week. Uh, uh, prime Minister Netanyahu and his bloc won enough so that he can remain as prime minister, though, in a slightly weakened position. So the question is, will they get along any better now? And I, I, what I say in the column is, you know, you would, might think we're just in for more of the same and maybe worse because President Obama doesn't have to worry about, you know, being nice to, a, to an ally with a lot of domestic support since he'll never seek re-election. I actually think they will find some ways to get to, to cooperate. I think forces are pushing them together. First of all, they know they have to live with each other. They're, 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 they're stuck with each other. Uh, but beyond that, you know, you do have a sense that the chaos in the region, the problem in Syria and the problem in Egypt, on, on two of Israel's borders are so severe that the desire on both sides to make sure Egypt stays in a peace treaty with Israel and Syria's war doesn't spill over into Israel is too much for both uh, countries. They have to agree on that. Plus, I think that increasingly Prime Minister Netanyahu is going to have to rely on President Obama to deal with that Iranian nuclear program. I think the the uh, time when the Israelis could have moved militarily on their own to strike out at the Iranian nuclear program has, may have actually ended. A lot of people in Washington think it's passed. And so that means it's really up to the Israelis to rely on the U.S. to figure out how to deal with that problem. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jerry. Sure. And please make sure to read uh, Capital Journal and tomorrow's Wall Street Journal and online right now on WSJ.com.